Hello, everyone, and welcome to Paula's Soapbox Pajama Party. This is our big pre-Emmy show, the Emmys air tomorrow night. I have Liz Long with me tonight and Carolina Savas, and we're going to go over the list of nominees, and we're going to watch some clips of their uh, Emmy reels. So, and I also have my popcorn, because you have to have your popcorn for a pajama party. So, um, yeah, we've got a lot to get to, actually, so we should probably get started. But before we ha we start with the nominees and everything, um, I want to talk about uh, Carolina. She is about to start Season 3 of Broken at Love, and she has an Indiegogo campaign going on right now with lots of perks whenever you contribute. So, you know, if you can, contribute any amount, even a dollar is fine. So whatever you can afford, you know, it adds up. So, uh, yeah, be sure to check that out uh, when she starts speaking, you'll be able to see the link to that campaign, so you can just go straight to there and donate however much you want to, so no amount is too small. Um, okay, so the Emmys, they air tomorrow night, they are back on TV this year, they air tomorrow night at 8, 7 central on Pop TV, and that is, for those of you who don't know, that used to be the TV Guide Network, so if you had the TV Guide Network, Chances are you will probably have Pop TV as well. Um, after the Emmys, they are premiering a new show called Queens of Drama, which we'll be talking a little bit more about later. It's a reality show with several uh, favorites from daytime TV, including Vanessa Marcel, Crystal Hunt, Donna Mills, and Lindsay Hartley, among others. Um, and I heard that they are also going to start airing reruns of Dynasty, if they haven't already, so... Yeah, thanks to Pop TV, they're doing a lot for daytime right now, so I'm really excited. And and if you didn't know, they also air same day episodes of The Young and the Restless and The Bold and the Beautiful. So, anyway, um, I guess before we start with the nominees for the Emmys, I want to go over the list of winners from the Creative Arts Emmys because those have already been announced. Um, Outstanding New Approaches Drama Series, which is like web series. The Bay, the series won for that, which is a great show. If you haven't watched it, I highly recommend you check it out. It's it's a really, really good soap opera. Uh, it stars Mary Beth Evans, um, who I'm sure you are familiar with. From so Days of Our Lives. Days of Our Lives, General Hospital, uh, As the World Turns. She's, she's been in and out of several soap operas. Um, outstanding special guest performer in a drama series, which I didn't even realize that they were going to announce that already, but that was a three-way tie. Um, it went to Donna Mills as Madeline Reeves from General Hospital, and Fred Willard, who played John Foister on The Bold and the Beautiful. He cleans and up. To, <laughs> what? He cleans up. He always, yeah. he, win, he always wins guest stars of something, daytime yeah, or evening. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah. And uh, the third winner for that was Ray Wise as Ian Ward for The Young and the Restless. So not really surprised there. I'm surprised it was a three-way tie, but I'm not surprised that Ray Wise won because I think he had the best reel of all of those. Mm -hmm. um, let's see. Okay, and Martha Byrne, who you know also from As the World Turns and General Hospital yes. and... Uh, she won for Outstanding Performer in a New Approaches drama series, and that was from the web series Anacostia. And we should see. plug that you interviewed her. That was a really good yes, interview. Yes, I did. Now did. she's yes. a three-time Emmy winner. I interviewed her when she was only a two-time Emmy winner, but now she's won three. <laughs> so. I think that helped push I her over. I, I, yeah. I think it helped. <laughs> yeah, I think so. I think that my interview had everything in the world to do with that. So. <laughs> Absolutely. Um, okay, so Outstanding Casting for a Drama Series went to General Hospital. Outstanding Art Direction, Set Direction, Scenic Design for a Drama Series went to Days of Our Lives. Yay! Outstanding Lighting Direction for a Drama Series went to The Young and the Restless. Yay! Outstanding Technical Team for a Drama Series went to The Bold and the Beautiful. Outstanding Multiple Camera Editing for a Drama Series went to Days of Our Lives, and by the way, I don't know what half of this stuff is, I'm just running down a list of the winners, <laughs> so. <laughs> all the technical stuff. Yeah, all the technical stuff. Outstanding live and direct tape sound mixing for a drama series went to The Bold and the Beautiful. Outstanding music direction and composition for a drama series went to The Bold and the Beautiful. 
outstanding original song in a drama series went to The Bold and the Beautiful. It was Hands of Time. Outstanding costume design for a drama series went to The Bold and the Beautiful. Um, Are they leading wow. with wins so far? <laughs> they must be. I, wow. I, you know, I don't really know. I haven't done the count, but it, it seems like they must be. Um, outstanding hairstyling for a drama series went to The Young and the Restless. Yay. Outstanding makeup for a drama series went to General Hospital. And outstanding stunt coordination went to The Bold and the Beautiful. And they were nominated in that category twice, and they won. So... So, anyway, and while I'm at it, I want to, um, earlier this week, I asked people to retweet a link to the article I wrote about Carolina's Indiegogo campaign for Broken at Love, and I said that if you retweeted the link, you would get a shout-out on this show, so I need to thank Ada Savas, first of all, and I don't know her name, I don't know her real name, but on Twitter, she is at DaysFan, and that's with a Z, not an S. So thanks to both of them for retweeting those links and taking a few seconds to do that. I didn't know this was going on on Twitter. Thank you, Paula. You didn't? <laughs> no. I did that like, when was I that? retweet I don't like all of your stuff. And well, I just found out that like Facebook unliked all of the pages that I like. So I just re liked your page. Yeah. And so. Well, I lost like 20 fans on my Facebook page. You got one back. Apparently, yeah. I had no, I liked nothing. So. Yeah. I don't know. I, I guess I'm not seeing it. everything. I got a message that said Facebook was uh, deleting uh, inactive accounts. So if you lost... Well, I'm active now, so... Yeah. yeah. Yeah, so I lost 20 right off the bat. I had like 480 or something, and they whittled we it down a little We already celebrated, yeah. It's like when you celebrate the milestone and suddenly... Yeah, it's gone. like, sorry, you don't... I'm like, I don't care if they're active or not. It's the number thing that matters. <laughs> If I've got 480 fans, let me keep 480 fans whether they're looking at my page or not, you know? Right. Okay, well, let's get started with the nominees for Best Lead Actor, Outstanding Lead Actor in a Drama Series, and it might take me just a few seconds to get this up for you. Okay. But we'll get going here in just a second. You don't care about a defenseless little baby. I care about our baby. The one that slept with a picture beside her bed every single night because she thought you were watching over her. What were you going to do? Just say you're sorry? Jason's son is more important than you? That is not fair. No, Robin, you're right. This, this, this is not fair. Can you please... Just this once, try to understand no, you know about what? Jason. I think I got it. Yeah. I think I have it. Jason is untouchable. I'm, I'm never going to get to to Jason's level. Just stop it. No. I get it. He's, he's the most important thing in the world to you. I understand that. But you don't understand. Jason was a gangster. He wasn't to me, okay? And you've never understood what Jason meant to me. Come on. Okay? Don't. Don't say come on. Don't say, come on, if it wasn't for him, I wouldn't even be here, okay? We would have never met, we would have never gotten married, we never would have had a little girl. He literally saved my life. Yeah, I thought the men did that. Right. Who do you think got me to take them, okay? When I had 40 pills a day to take with, with no guarantee of them ever working, ever? Who, who do you think convinced me that my life was even worth living? Can't you understand that I have a chance to save his life, even a small chance? I have to take it. You don't. Look, I'm grateful for Jason. I'm glad that he was that person for you, but there are limits to what you can do to try and pay him back. He needs me right now. God. Robin, we need you. Patrick. You know what I want. I want the whole story. Because I'm having a little trouble understanding this. I want to know why 
standing at a memorial with my daughter's name on it. I mean, I can see it. I can touch it. You want to see it? Take a look at it. I can see the flowers, and I can see the pictures, and I can see the letters that her friends wrote to her, but I don't, I don't understand. It's not processing. I can't wrap my head around it. So this is what we're going to do. You're going to walk me through this. These are the parts that I know. That night, my daughter and I, we left our house. We went to her school play. She told me that was the greatest night of her life, the greatest night in her seven-year-old life. She was fantastic. We stopped to get ice cream to celebrate. I walked into that store and I was back two minutes later. And then I find the most precious person I have ever known in my entire life laying right there where you're standing all night. But I know and that night when she died, Something in me died too, the very best part of me. So believe me when I tell you I have no problem emptying every bullet in this clip into you. Whoa, slow down, boy. Don't bust an artery. You keep your filthy hands off, Tracy. She's a good woman. You hurt her, and I'll, I'll hunt you down and make you back for death. You what? Come on, you're not gonna do anything. You're on a mind-numbing cocktail of very high-class drugs. Your brain is as soft as an overcooked plate of broccoli. <laughs> you're helpless. You're as helpless as Tracy is. And did I tell you? How crazy she is about me. She says I'm a sack. Look at The bitch can't get enough. <laughs> oh. You shouldn't have done that. That's disgusting. <laughs> <laughs> I guess it's time for us to say goodbye. I wasn't ready to tell anyone. Since when am I anyone? Look, I would like to have all the facts before making a public announcement. So how did Kevin find out, huh? I am your wife. I am the one that you made the vows to, but yet you choose to tell your brother before you tell That is me. not how it happened. I did not tell Kevin. He figured it out. How in God's name did he figure that out? You know how he is. He thought I was cheating on you, too. He started snooping around, doing what he does. He hacked into my phone, my, my, my calendar or something. He found out I was having a doctor's appointment, and he just showed up. And at that point, I wasn't ready to lie to him. No, I, I should have told you. I need you in my corner, but this is my cancer. You are not allowed to be mad. You stop being mad. You can't be mad. I'm not mad. I'm not. I'm scared. Okay. So, you guys, predictions? Wait, uh, Ursula Wong's character has cancer? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. I, More than I'm getting... leaving the show. Reluctant to say anything about it, but... I'm going to go for Billy Miller. Yeah. Because I thought he was a great Billy Abbott, and um, I just would like to see him get the get get the nod there. So that that's my prediction. I mean, they're all they're all strong. Um, all, although it, it seems maybe with if you if you have cancer or if you're a man and you tear up, they you know the yeah. the uh, the voter the the voters might uh, might go for that, but um, I, I think um, uh, Billy Miller. Although Christian LeBlanc, I mean, those are both you know very very powerful performances. Yeah. So you so you think that either Billy Miller or Christian LeBlanc should win? Do you think that they one of them will win? 
Um, I'm I, I'm just gonna you know, um, uh, just kind of like what I do for the uh, NCAA bracket. I just you know throw caution to the wind or or, or just say <laughs> never mind. I'm going to go with uh, Billy Miller. Okay, Billy Miller. Okay, what about yep. you, Caroline? I know you're going to go for Christian Walk. I know that you're going <laughs> to. Well, after I saw that, I was like, oh, yeah, that's... Well, to be fair, she went from Billy Miller last year. I remember that. So, oh. <laughs> so this, this may just be totally biased. Uh, I, I like the first one, too. So, um, Patrick, Patrick uh, or Jason Thompson. Yeah. Yeah. yeah because he, he uh, cried. Yeah. He is a good crier. He, he can <laughs> cry, like, at the drop of a hat. So... Yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't know. You know, I'm torn. I'm, I'm. I, I like criers. I like yeah. guys that cry. Like um, it depends, unless he did that like every episode for like the entire season. Yeah, but, well, um, he, he does a really good job crying. So anytime that it, um, that's why they exploit it. And I, <laughs> I, I think part find. of part of why I'm. I'm not going for Christian LeBlanc. Is I was just getting so frustrated with him with that with the the cancer story and him not telling people, yeah, and him putting off treatment and oh I'm going to explore I'm going to get a fourth fifth sixth seventh eighth ninth opinion, yeah. uh, so I was getting frustrated with that. So, but yeah, I shouldn't the cancer storylines are tricky. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I know. Yeah, the cancer storylines are so tricky though. I think sometimes it could ruin a character or show or sometimes it could I mean I don't there's a lot of shows I like stopped watching when that entered it's, it's hard to watch something so like too too real sometimes you know right. so yeah. Um, yeah I agree well um, I don't know my prediction is I, th- I kind of think that that Billy Miller should win because I agree with Liz he was a good Billy Abbott uh, but you know, I'm thinking that Anthony Geary probably will win because he usually does. So, um, <laughs> you know, I, I don't know. You know, I'm I'm gonna have, I think I'm gonna have to root for Billy Miller because you know he's not playing Billy anymore. So, yeah, I think I'm gonna have to root he for him. He did win last year, right? He Billy was the winner. Miller, last year. I think that he did. I think that he did. If I remember, I've blocked out most of last year's Emmy, so I'm not sure. But, I'm just remembering uh, it from our from our show uh, last year. I'm trying to think of what we're predicting, and I was just like, I'm pretty sure he, he was the, in the lead actor category. But yeah, I think so. Yeah. Well, I'm a um, novice on this stuff, so don't trust my <laughs> don't trust my judgment. <laughs> <laughs> well, I want to remind everyone that if you're on Twitter, you can weigh in with us by using the hashtag Emmy Party. Or you can comment directly on this page that you're watching from. And I also have a bit of bad news. It seems that is the end of the clip that we are allowed to show because I just got a message from Hangout that said if I keep showing clips I'm not authorized to use, then they will shut down the Hangout. So uh, apparently I'm not authorized to use those. So, uh, yes, and I got to do I guess so. So I just now got another message from them. So, you know, take that up with Google if you if you have a problem with it like wow. I do. Uh, How come they have not... an issue with you showing my clips? <laughs> I, I don't know. <laughs> right? I don't know, but, you know, it's like if you don't want me using them, don't put them online. So Yeah, that, that is bizarre. Yeah. That is. You know, it's, don't... A sharing. it's a it sharing. It's a sharing. Do they, right, they think it's like a, a commercial program or something? They think this is a commercial program that you're selling yeah. advertising, making money off of it? I don't know. It's not even monetized. I didn't even monetize this one. So, but yeah, it says, you know, if you're a, if you're a, if you keep showing clips that you're not authorized to use, then your hangout will shut down. So, wow. My message is don't put them online if you don't want me to show them because anyone can find them anywhere on poptv.com. So if you want to wow. see the full link. Amy Reels, you can go there and watch them. So to be fair, you edited that very nicely, and I thought that was okay. a really good. That was a really good. I Thank was you. I was in group. That was a really good. So hopefully you'll Thank still you. have a way to put what you worked on up because I thought those were really. Yeah. Yeah. yeah well, you obviously I can right. upload them to YouTube. So and I'm still getting messages even though I have not shown anything else and I don't plan to. So. I'm wondering. Um, <laughs> you can tell I'm just long? a little bit irritated with that, but. Yeah. <laughs> Well, how long are the reels? Because you picked really good, you picked really good snippets. The reels how long are the reels Pop when they when they showed it, when they put them up on poptv.com? Uh, mm-hmm. Some of them were 25 minutes long, so I'm only wow. showing like a minute or less. But yeah. you know, 
apparently I'm not authorized to use those, but luckily I have a list of the nominees, so we'll just do it old school and, you know... It's like last time, we just have to act it out. Right. <laughs> yeah, we'll, act out the scene. we'll just recreate the scenes. I can describe the scenes and we'll just recreate them. Um, have you ever watched um, Watch What Happens Live? When he does those theaters where they like recreate a... I remember he did one with Eileen Davidson. And they recreate a scene, usually it's a soap opera or a reality show, and they yeah. recreate, like, he, the host and the guest recreate the scene. We're going to have yeah. to start doing that. Yeah, I know. We're going to have to start doing that. You turn out. But, yeah, if you guys want to see the full-length Emmy Reels, they are available on poptv.com, so you can you can watch them there after this show ends, of course. Um, far be it for me to try to give free advertising to the soap opera community, but whatever. We'll move on. Uh, okay, so let's see. We went lead actor. Lead actress nominees are uh, Peggy McKay as Caroline Brady for The Days of Our Lives. Allison Sweeney as Sammy Brady from The Days of Our Lives. Gina Tognoni as Phyllis Newman for The Young and the Restless. Maura West as Ava Jerome for General Hospital. And Laura Wright as Carly Corinthos for General Hospital. I um, think Allison Sweeney is going to get it because she's done. And I don't I love yeah, Sammy. <laughs> yeah, you know, very well could. I mean, the, I wish that I could show you the real, but I can't. So, um, <laughs> and I, um, I, yeah, I wonder what Sammy's been up to. <laughs> yeah, it, it was a really good one. They basically judge it what they judge it just off of the clip. I mean, I know she yeah. had a really powerful storyline um, this past year, but of course that's Sammy. I mean, she's been she's been doing that for for years and years. You know, getting upset <laughs> and loving yeah. and crying up and, and all of it. Yeah. So, but I think I would like to see Allison Sweeney uh, get that in recognition. Of all that she's done for for daytime, and, and I got to admit, I'm I'm surprised Peggy McKay is nominated. I I really am. I'm I'm a bit surprised. She um of all of the reels that I watched, to me she had the weakest one. Um, it was the one. It was at Sunny and Will's wedding, and she was giving a a speech. Mm -hmm. And everyone else was like crying and shouting, and there was a lot going on in the scene, and hers just didn't stand out to me. So, but you know, something tells me she might win anyway. Um, <laughs> I, Never you know. <laughs> I'm I'm kind of torn between Allison Sweeney, Gina Tognoni, and Maura West as who should win. Uh, Allison Sweeney turned in the clip that was the one that was in, and you'll probably remember this list since you watch it, and I don't watch it regularly. It was EJ's imagination of what Sammy was going to do if she found out that he had slept with Gabby. Yeah. Yeah, that's the reel <laughs> she turned in. Okay. Uh, and Gina Tognoni turned in the reel where she was arguing with Jack about Kelly. It was right after she first found out about Kelly. Mm -hmm. uh, Maura West, it was the one right before she slept with uh, Sunny in the... Um, Mausoleum or whatever you call it. It's really gross. Oh. But <laughs> oh. um, and <laughs> Laura Rott turned in the one where she was a it was the wedding that she was to marry Franco and it was where she found out that Franco told Michael that Sonny and Carly knew about uh, the fact that Sonny killed EJ. Yeah, that's what it was. Yeah. <laughs> I have to think back. Some of these storylines, it's like, after months, it's like, okay, wow. I don't even remember what happened with that, so. <laughs> and, and, you know, I, I wouldn't be surprised if Maura Wright got it. I mean, she's a very good actress. Yes. Uh, or, so. Maura West or Laura Rod? More, more or west. Okay. So yeah. I, uh, you know, I could see her getting it, but I'm, I'm gonna, uh, I, I'm gonna put my little star by Allison Sweeney that Allison, that Allison gets that. Yeah. Well, since she's left the show, she might get it. Um, I think that she's one of the ones that should get it, but for some reason, I keep thinking Peggy McKay's gonna get it. I don't know why. I think there might be an upset. And, and I don't know if Peggy's ever won it, and they, they might say, well, you know, she's yeah. been on there for a while. She's she's kind of the de facto matriarch um, yeah. on that show. Mm -hmm. since, That's since kind of why I thought. I'm not sure that she's ever won before either. So, um, and it's too bad because she had some pretty powerful storylines years and years ago. But uh, yeah, yeah. 
Yeah, oh. well, this clip that she turned in, she was just making a speech, and yeah, so. <laughs> well, I, I, I won't. <laughs> it might have no, been. It <laughs> might have been. Subtle. Subtle yeah, it was, no crying. Yeah, very, very subtle. <laughs> no, no crying or anything, and it was, she was just making a speech, and and when you sandwich that in with all the other reels, it it kind of comes across as being a little lackluster. So it, did it come across? Oh, go ahead. Oh, go ahead. I'm trying to remember how long ago was the Alzheimer's storyline. That must have been before 20, 2014, I guess. Because remember, she had Alzheimer's, and then Bo yeah. took her away for treatment. She comes back, and like miraculously, she's all better. So yeah. Wow, they yeah. cured that. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's probably really not Caroline. It's probably a double. So you know. Oh yeah, that's true. I mean, oh, she's yeah. got her wits, got her wits about her, and you know, she's you know. But anyway, so. I love so. when they do that. I love when they yeah. there's more. They're like, oh, it's just another version. Right. It's like Jack having a twin now, which is totally ridiculous. I'm, are you caught up on Young and the Restless right now, Liz? I yeah yeah I uh, yeah. It's, well, it's you know, they have, to go, they have to go through their little ridiculous things, you know, like remember Marlena possessed, things like yes. that. So I yeah. even watched that. Yeah. <laughs> I remember that. I don't think anyone really totally completely missed that. So, yeah. It's, I yeah, and I hate that they made Kelly such a psycho. Yeah. I'm getting the restless. I hate that they made her such a psycho because I liked Jack and Kelly. And now I, it's, yeah, she's just crazy. I know, and and I don't know. You know, of course, I'm I'm a, a big Katie McCain, flan, Katie McLean fan, and <laughs> you know, I don't know how how long she is for for that soap. So, um, you know, yeah. we'll we'll see. We'll see. Yeah. Maybe maybe she'll uh, maybe maybe she'll uh, hang on there. But yeah, I I would like to uh, to see Kelly. Uh, you know. Sane, but we'll see. Yeah, maybe <laughs> they're gonna end up giving her like a brain tumor or something, like they did with Franco mm -hmm. on General Hospital. Even though he's crazy now again, sort of. So you know, whatever. Although um, it spices <laughs> things up though with her acting like that, it does spice things up. So yeah, yeah, it does. Um, okay, let's see what what's next. Supporting actress. Uh, okay, the nominees for that. Don't worry, Google. Don't have a panic attack. I'm not gonna show any clips. <laughs> Because they're gonna react. There for a few minutes, I was getting a notice every couple of seconds. I, I got the message. I get it. I know. Um, Take it chill, Bill Google. Chill out. Right. <laughs> chill out. It's all good. I'm not gonna do it anymore. You How let me on the ring. How that out? Oh my gosh, that I was like mind blowing. Maybe that's one of my three viewers that I have is Google, Google, uh, or YouTube. <laughs> so somebody you know, turned, somebody turned you in die. to the Google police. Yeah, the Google police. Ridiculous. Anyway. Outstanding Supporting Actress in a Drama Series. Um, okay, it's Lindsay Godfrey as Caroline Spencer Forster. Amelia Hindley, is that how you pronounce her last name? I never, I never can be sure. I think um, it's as Hindley, I think. Hindley, okay. As Victoria Newman for The Young and the Restless. Elizabeth Hendrickson as Chloe Fisher for The Young and the Restless. Fanola Hughes as Anna Devane for General Hospital. And Lisa Lo Cicero as Olivia Falconeri, General Hospital. <laughs> Uh, Lindsay Godfrey turned in the clip that was about when Rick found out that she had kissed Ridge. Um, Amelia Hindley, this was, I think this was the clip where she had found a drawing that um, Delia had made. Um, Elizabeth Hendrickson is when she left the show. Um, mm -hmm. Fanola Hughes, it was when she and Duke were arguing about the fact that he was going to continue working for Sunny. And Lisa Lo Cicero turned in one where her character was drunk dialing an animal shelter. <laughs> it was really funny. I wish I could show you that one. She drunk dialed oh. an animal shelter and she was sitting there and she was crying and she was saying, I can be your hero. She, she was like, I own a whole, a whole half of a hotel so I can put these dogs, I can just have a room with just dog beds and put these dogs in a room. So, yeah, that was a really good clip too, but, you know, you'll have to go to poptv.com to, to watch it. Um, yeah, so I don't, I don't know. I out of these clips, uh, I would have to say Elizabeth Hendrickson as Chloe Fisher on The Young and the Restless, because she's not there anymore, and I don't, I don't know. What do you guys think? 
And I know, Carolina, you've not seen it, and I can't show it to you, so you kind of have time. I was, I was all ready for my, for my TV, TV in an hour experience. Google. Um, I don't, I'm not qualified, but you know I like Fanola Hughes. Yeah. <laughs> I, you general. know, I'm going to step, step away from my Young and the Restless, because you know, I'm a big Re Young and the Restless fan. I'm going to go with Lisa LeCicero. Yeah. Because... I don't. I don't think that um, Amelia Heinley had. I, I mean, I, I like her on she on the show, but year, I don't. Pardon? Did, did, did she, she win last year? year? I think she did. Yeah. I just don't see that. Didn't see throughout the year that a strong performance and the Chloe Elizabeth Hendrickson. Uh, I, you know, Chloe's coming back. You know, she's she's pregnant and. Yeah. Um, um, in her own devious way, so I um with the new actress, but probably I, I don't know at this point. But um, mm -hmm. you know, I I, I just um, I say Lisa Le Cicero. Yeah, well, you'll have to watch that clip when we get through here because yeah. it is a really funny clip. And you know, the funny thing is, is I can share it on Facebook and Twitter in its entirety, but I can't show a minute of it on here. So it doesn't make any sense. No, yeah, well, whatever. <laughs> no, they missed, they missed it last year because we did it. So in their face, <laughs> right, right. <laughs> then we showed so, more. Yeah, actually, yeah, because we did, couldn't figure out how to do it any other way. We couldn't figure out how to do yeah. it outside of the YouTube app. So that's probably why, because I'm not using the YouTube app that they installed. But you know, whatever. Okay, next is outstanding supporting actor in a drama series. We have Scott Clifton as Liam Spencer for The Bold and the Beautiful. We have Chad Duell as Michael Corinthos for General Hospital. Christoph St. John as Neil Winters for The Young and the Restless. And Jacob Young as Rick Forster for The Bold and the Beautiful. And Scott Clifton, um, I don't know much about The Bold and the Beautiful because I don't watch it anymore. <laughs> the clip he turned in was... Um, he was arguing with Wyatt about, I want to say hope. I'm sure somebody on Twitter will let me know if I'm wrong about that. But, <laughs> um, yeah, that's the clip that he turned in. Chad Duell turned in the clip where he was about to shoot Sonny when he found out that he had killed AJ. Um, Christoph St. John, this, these were the scenes with um, him and his brother Malcolm. Shamar Moore, obviously, so those were really good clips. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Everybody loves Shamar Moore. He, he would. I, I was to say, if he wins it, it'll be all because of Shamar Moore. Right, and he was <laughs> actually in those clips pretty heavily. So yeah, I'm sorry. I sh I, I should be. I, I should be. Snarky. Same on you, Liz. That was so mean and snarky. <laughs> <laughs> well, you need your co-stars. That makes that makes a difference on your performance, right? Yeah. Right. Right. Exactly. You, you play off of them, and and Jacob Young, his um clip was pretty much like Lindsay's. It was the same scene where where he found out that she had kissed Bridge. So, I really don't... I'm thinking Chad Duell for this one. I'm thinking he... I'm thinking he should win and I'm thinking... I'm thinking that he will win. I'm gonna... I'm just gonna go ahead and say he's gonna win. Okay. I'm gonna go with Jacob Young. Um, <laughs> I just... we It just... Of course, um, I, I was a big fan of all my children, and uh, but he's he's intense, and uh, yeah. I, I think he's a good actor. So he's a really I'm, good I'm just actor. Gonna, so I'm just I'm just gonna throw my support behind him for supporting actor. Okay, well there you go. Um, I have no. Uh, he has no. no that's okay. <laughs> See, I was appealing only. <laughs> Clips for I support everybody. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so what's next? Younger actress. Outstanding younger actress in a drama series. Uh, Kristen Alderson as Kiki Jerome, General Hospital. Camilla Banus as Gabby Hernandez for The Days of Our Lives. Hunter King as Summer Newman for The Young and the Restless. Haley Poulos as Molly Lansing Davis, General Hospital. These were some strong performances. Um... Wow, I'm gonna I'm gonna say it's a toss up between Camila Banus and Haley Poulos. 
I I would be happy with either one of those ladies winning. Um, Kiki's uh, or Kristen Alderson's um, reel was not that long, and I didn't think it was as strong as some of the other ones. And and neither was Hunter King's. I mean, they're both really great actresses, but um, I'm gonna go with Camilla Banus or Haley Poolo. Well, what was what was Camilla Banus's reel? Oh, I'm sorry, I didn't didn't say that. Uh, okay, I'll just go down the list. Kristen Alderson turned in uh, the clip where she found Michael in bed with um, Rosalie. Can't think of the name. Uh, Camilla's turned in the one where she is at the uh, interrogation room with Hope, and she's talking about shooting Nick. Do you remember that one? Oh yeah. That's the one she turned in. Hunter okay. King. This was right after she after Summer found out that. Um, Nick was actually her father, and she was having a conversation with him. Um, that was that was what she turned in. Uh, Haley Poulos as Molly Lansing. She turned in the clip right after she found out that, um, or right after she thought that her dad had been killed. So uh, that's what they turned in for their reels. Okay. So what do you what do you think, Liz? Who do you think it should go to? I'm going to go think? with uh, Camilla Banus. Yeah. Uh, because that. That storyline with you know with her uh, killing Nick that that was that was powerful. Yeah. You know, me, as you got further on in the year, it was just every once in a while you saw Gabby because they you know they they they'd bring her daughter to visit her. So. Yeah. Um, but I think that I, I think the, um, that was that was powerful. It's it's hard to think of them as younger actresses. It, yeah. It's, um, I know. As they as they're growing, but growing up, but uh, I, I guess in the soap world they are. Yeah, yeah. In comparison to some of the other ones, I guess they're not technically supporting actresses. So, yeah, it is it is difficult to think of them as younger actresses because they're you know you just wouldn't think of them like that. No, they're in their twenties. Um, they're in their twenties. Yeah, outstanding younger actor in a drama series. Uh, the nominees are. Uh, Brian Craig <laughs> as Morgan Corinthos, uh, General Hospital. Max Eric, is that how you pronounce his last name? The one that plays Finmore. Finmore Baldwin on The Young and the Restless. And uh, Taekwon Richman as TJ Ashford, General Hospital. Freddie Smith as Sonny Kiriakis on Days of Our Lives. Huh. This and is the, the tough one. What were the clips? Brian Craig turned in the clip where he was, Sonny was telling him to break up with Ava. That was the clip he turned in. Uh, Max Eric, was, there was not much to work with on that one. I remember when I was watching it. Uh, this was when he found out. Yeah, I mean, I mean, he did he did a good job, but there was it didn't really feature him that much. Uh, this was when he first found out that, that uh, his dad had cancer. Um, Did he cry? I'm trying to remember if he cried. He cried, <laughs> but there wasn't much. He did cry, but there wasn't much there. I mean, there wasn't. There, it wasn't much of a scene. Not a good um, crier, huh? Well, no, he cried. It just wasn't like this big, like leading actress type, you know, bawling, you know, <laughs> cry. It was just like tears, you know, just yeah. Um, I'm just, I'm kind of surprised that that's the one he turned in. Uh, Take One Richmond as T.J. Ashford was when he found out that uh, Sean might be his dad instead of his real dad, and uh, they had that whole conversation about him shooting his dad in the military, and uh, it was a whole big mess, but that's the one he turned in. Uh, Freddie Smith, this was the one that he, it was a conversation he had with Gabby about Nick, and I don't really know what was going on there because I haven't watched the show in a while, but he was basically lecturing her about sleeping with Nick, and then she slapped him at the end of the scene. Ooh. Do you remember that one, Liz? He can take a slap. I, I just, again, yeah. Freddie, Freddie Smith being younger actor, I just yeah. um, can't, can't get my arms wrapped around that one. I mean, the guy the guy owns, you know, a couple of clubs and, and all of this, and, and I yeah. just, um, it, it, it just uh, uh, boggles me. Um you know, but I'm going to have to go with Freddie Smith. Um, I, you know, I know they base it off the clip, off off that one clip, but I just yeah. think he's he's been he's really uh, given some fine performances uh, last last year. So, and of course, I'm a Days fan, so um, mm -hmm. I'm I'm I'll I'll say uh, son, or Freddie Smith. Yeah. 
Well, I, I'm gonna, and this no one, this doesn't, I'm sure shock, it shocks no one more than me here. But I'm gonna, and you know, I'm gonna may have to have my head examined after I say this because even as oh, I no. say it, what? Why would you? Why would you say that? I'm gonna say <laughs> Brian Craig as Morgan Corinthos just because of that one clip that he turned in, uh, and because when I watched the other ones, I just, you know. I, this was probably not the strongest category when I watched the clips, but you know, you guys will have to watch them later on poptv.com to know what I'm talking about. <laughs> <laughs> poptv.com is giving a lot of plugs for not yeah, letting I you bet, I bet they're very plugs. happy. Exactly. I, worked on this I, I, bet they, I bet they wouldn't threaten you. No. <laughs> well, they shouldn't. They have the videos on their website, so I mean, for crying out loud. Um, Okay, that's that's all of the acting categories. Uh, the only thing left is outstanding drama series writing team and uh, drama series directing team, and of course that goes to the four remaining soaps on both of them. So you know they're they're all nominated: The Bold and the Beautiful, Days of Our Lives, General Hospital, The Young and the Restless, Drama Series Writing Team, Bold and the Beautiful, Days of Our Lives, General Hospital, Young and the Restless for Drama Series Directing Team. So you know they're all nominated. For those, but we won't find out until tomorrow night um, who won. So, and that's that's it. That's the whole show. We <laughs> we made out pretty good considering that you know we didn't have those clips to show, so it, it was a lot shorter. Um, I want to remind everyone that the Emmys do air tomorrow night. It is on TV. And is uh, it the host is Tyra Banks? Tyra Banks. Tyra Banks. Yeah. yeah. Tyra Banks is hosting. Um, it starts at eight seven central. It is on Pop TV. Um, if you don't know what that is, it was formerly the the TV Guide Network. So if you had that, chances are you you most likely have Pop TV. Um, then following the broadcast of the Emmys, they are going to air a show called uh, Queens of Drama. It's a reality show. It's like a docu series um, starring several daytime ladies. Uh, Vanessa, Marcel, Crystal Hunt, Donna Mills, Lindsay Hartley, as well as others are going to show up. Uh, so that's going to be on every Wednesday after that at 8, 7 Central, beginning this week, this coming week. Um, okay, and, and from what I hear, Pop TV is also going to start airing reruns of Dynasty. So Yay! that'll be good. So, love it. I love yeah. Dynasty. Yeah. So, you know, hopefully this is just the beginning because they seem to be doing a lot for uh, daytime TV right now. And um, also to remind everyone that, uh, well, Carolina Savas is here with us tonight, and they have launched a Indiegogo campaign for the third season of Broken at Love. So, um, yeah, you can contribute as much as you can to that for the third season to get help to get the third season made. All of the proceeds go to make the third season of Broken at Love. And that address is, what? It, what is the address? I talk so you can see it. Yeah, Around yeah. The that's the address, wherever, whatever yeah. looks like, <laughs> wherever I'm pointing that I can't see. Underneath her name. Yeah, it's igg.me slash uh, at slash broken at love. Yeah. Okay. Well, did, do either of you have anything you would like to add before we go or talk about? Well, does anybody have predictions on, on best drama? Who who do you think's oh, gonna I'm who do you think's gonna get the up. best the best uh, soap? The big one. Best drama yeah, series. the big one. The the biggest Days drama. Love, General Hospital, Young and the Restless. I'm gonna say it's probably gonna go to the Bold and the Beautiful because they've won so much already on the Creative Arts <laughs> Emmys. Um, hmm. It's just counting her odds. Young and the Restless because it's been really good this year. Wow, I I, I think I'm um I I think I'm gonna go with. Uh, I'll go with the Young and the Restless. Yeah. <laughs> I think that they should win, but I think the Bold and Beautiful probably will win. So. No, we'll see. We'll see. You need a chart. Yeah. You need a chart next year. Should win, will win. Everyone just fill yeah. in your. <laughs> Make sure no one copyrighted a flow chart or anything. So. Oh. <laughs> Paula, if Paula, if we lived near each other, I would bet you breakfast on that one. So. Yeah. <laughs> Well, okay, so that's it. Yeah, watch the Emmys tomorrow night. They are on TV this year. We don't have to stream them online and watch them and, you know, go through all of that, you know, turmoil like we did last year. They are yeah. going to be on TV. So hopefully, you know, if you've got Pop TV, you'll be able to tune in and watch them. 8, 7 Central. 
Uh, and be sure to catch Queens of Drama after that, because that looks like it's going to be interesting. I would show you a clip, but obviously I can't do that. So. And, and Paula, <laughs> you've got a whole year to figure out how to show clips next right. year. Even though I already had it figured out, now I've got to figure out how to do it <laughs> legally. <laughs> right. <laughs> All right, well, guys, thanks for taking time out of your Saturday afternoon to, to do this. It was a lot of fun regardless. I wish I could have shown you the clips, but they are available at poptv.com, so be sure to go and watch them. And, you know, let me know later if you agree with any of our predictions. So, so anyway, good night, everybody. Hey, good night. Good night. Bye. Bye.